How's it going guys, Top Secret R35 here and welcome to a list featuring 5 unusual cars I'd like to see in any future Forza games or even as a DLC for the current ones. So Forza has been doing unusual non-production cars for a while now, such as the Unicorn or even the Fast and Furious cars and actually the first thing that drew me to the franchise was the fact that Forza Motorsport 2, the first Forza game I played, included the top secret Supra and D1 spec Sylvia and little me back then was like wow top secret that's so cool so let's get started the first car in the list is the one you see in the thumbnail this is Rod Millen's 1998 Pikes Peak Toyota Tacoma when you google a picture of a Toyota Tacoma this is what you see The truck was built and driven by New Zealander Rod Millen, yes that's Rice Millen's dad, for the 1998 Pikes Peak Hill Climb. The vehicle has nothing in common with the Tacoma and is in fact built on a chrome molly tubular space frame chassis covered in a carbon fiber body. Power is generated by a, get this, 2.1 liter 4 cylinder turbocharged engine producing 800 horsepower and it weighs in under 2000 pounds. The car is geared to literally go 0 to 60 in 1.6 seconds. Imagine what I could do with this thing on the hill climb challenge. The second car is from my previous supercar bait challenge, the infamous top secret R33 drag R2. A clip that I, sh that I showed in my previous video explains it all. Here's it again if you missed it. So this street legal machine runs the quarter mile in 9 seconds. That is really fast. Built by Smokey Nagata himself of Top Secret, the RB26 DETT produces over... 1000 horsepower i think in its current state at 1200 the clip i showed you was an illegal run on the wangan infamously featured on the max power video beast from the east imagine how quick we could drive it on the highways of horizon the third car is a bit of a personal choice it's the south african spec golf mk1 named the city golf now i know that the golf is already in the Forza games when we have VW actually but the South African spec one just looks a bit different and I've always wanted guess whose car guess whose first car this was it was mine so I've always wanted to drive my own car but uh, I always have to rely on like the German spec or the rabbit spec so if the next Horizon game is for some reason based in South Africa it would be really cool if they could include this car it also came in the Ute spec which was known as the Caddy and take a look at some of the more extreme versions. This would be a fun car to play with. The next car is also something that I saw from a viral video. It's a JBM Classic, the 1977 Toyota Cressida RX30. If Toyota doesn't wake up and get their cars back in the game, I'm going to lose it. Most importantly, I want to make a drift car out of this one, the same way that Frederick Sawley made his. If you haven't seen this video yet, I'll leave a link down below. It's pure automotive beauty. This particular example is 2JZ swapped and it's such a pretty car. The last car is a bit of a hopeful wish. This is Tim Burton's Batmobile. I think this is the best looking Batmobile out there, even better than uh, Superman vs Batman 1 or any of the other movies. And the Horizon series has included fantasy cars before, like the Halo Warthog or the Final Fantasy Regalia. So how cool would it be to blast around in this thing? So that does it for my list of cars I'd like to see in future Forza games, more particularly Forza Horizon 4. 
And it isn't just limited to Forza though. It could be in the crew too. Maybe if uh, some of the other games would like to include them. I just want to drive it. So leave a suggestion of what you'd like to see in the comments below. And subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next video. I feel good. You look good. You guys are amazing. Let's go.